Let's bring up your next comedian to the stage. Give it up for Mr. Brendan Kennedy! <laughs> You already did that. <laughs> we talked about the Vanessa Carlton intro. Oh. We talked about this. I know, we did. In that I said, do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. I don't, I don't, no, we're good. Listen, the keg's gone, everybody, and uh, you're looking at the culprit. <laughs> uh, I don't think that even technically makes sense. Um, I wrote a lot of, who wants to hear some dick jokes? That's, that's what I wrote today. Um, here's something funny. When my dick is flaccid, it looks like the bad guy from Tremors. <laughs> it's a movie where they pole vault from rock to rock, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> to avoid basically my dick. <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Um, when my dick is erect, I call it the Hymen Ripper because it makes fun of Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Traditionally Jewish name, Hymen Roth. <laughs> Godfather too. He's bigger than U.S. Steel, Michael. <laughs> I would now like to do an impression of the Bionic Man jerking off. It's an old show, I know. I'm not being very topical. I apologize. Get up for Chip Chantry. We're in yellow clothes. Proves that yellow is more irritating than red. <laughs> That's all it really proves. <laughs> Wait, I put on clothes. I try to prove something. Like long sleeve shirts under a t-shirt won't sw show sweat stains. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. <laughs> the dog that wouldn't let me go to the bathroom upstairs. Anybody else meet that guy? <laughs> Um, my parents are away uh, for this week in uh, near Universal Studios, Florida, which would be exciting if this was 1993. <laughs> but it's not. But either way, they went there, and so I'm supposed to watch their dog and two parakeets and one fish. I am down to a dog, a fish, and one parakeet. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> First of all, what the fuck, parakeets? <laughs> they, they were gone for 17 hours and this thing dropped dead. <laughs> because, it's my little brother's fault, he's an idiot. He, um, he, in their cage, he built this little, like, string, like, thing from the walk-on. And apparently he didn't, like, like, strength test the string. So this stupid green parakeet walked on it and smashed its dumb face and flapped around for an hour and died. And now I had to text them and be like, hey, the green one, whose name I don't know, is dead. <laughs> and it's all really happened. <laughs> and my other brother, who I texted this to, the older one, was like, Oh, Steven's gonna be upset. I was like, he should be, because he's a dummy who thinks that birds can walk across shitty string and he just randomly ties in their stupid cage. Tell him it's his fault and his vacation is ruined. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> we laughed at him. Oh, that's what, I'm Irish and I have two brothers and that's what Irish brothers do. We, um... We mess up each other's psyche. Um, so when you grow up, you're fucked up. That's what we like to do. <laughs> it's, uh, we call it making you strong, but really it's just for entertainment purposes. Um, so that bird is still sitting in the cage. Um, <laughs> because, because at my parents' house, the trash doesn't come till tomorrow. <laughs> so that's when it gets to leave. In the trash. Uh, he asked me to bury it. I'm not doing that. It's, it's a fucking parakeet. Um, the fish is all right though, and the dog. Um, the dog. I took the dog to a barbecue on Saturday and made a friend. So we're good. There's another dog friend. There's two dogs. They're friends now. They exchange business cards. <laughs> 
They, they, it was great. They peed all over that yard. <laughs> My friend's yard is ruined. And I loved every second of it. Um, <laughs> uh, this dog is such a fucking dick. Like, I, <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Like, I wake up normally around noon, because I'm unemployed. And um, this dog gets up every morning at 7 to pee. Or else it, uh, I thought something was happening. Um, uh, I hate it. It's being a jerk. But no, it's cool though. I'm gonna try to take it to a bar on Wednesday to see if girls would walk up and talk to it instead of me. And then they're in the trap. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I looked up, there's a, actually a bar called Tavern 17 where they have a dog menu. But they don't call it a dog menu, they call it a canine goodies. And that's what they just, it's like there's a menu in canine goodies. And they will sell you chopped up hot dogs or chopped up cheeseburgers or if you're a vegetarian, chopped up tomatoes. Which is like, that's kind of dick to force your views on a dog. But like, whatever. <laughs> Aside from that, um, it's, it's 250 for any dog item. Um, mozzarella sticks, however, are 950. Um, I feel like I have a lawsuit in the works for discrimination against fat guys who like fried food. I don't know. I plan on just ordering three chopped up dog hot dogs and giving one to the dog and eating two. Um, God. Oh, and I have another, uh, yeah, another, this is an impression of Tony the Tiger jerking off. You could probably already tell where this is going to go. <laughs> it's great! <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a cat that look anything off? <laughs> Tigers are just big cats. <laughs> not big jokesters. This is a fun joke. Um, um, it's a fun joke. It's a fun joke. It's gonna be fun. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, uh, she had a nickname for my penis. This is so embarrassing, guys. I can't believe I'm gonna tell you this. It's so embarrassing. Um, she used to call it <laughs> She was illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word for not being able to talk like a person? A mute. A mute? No, no, they can't talk at all. Dumb? Oh, yeah. She was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know her. <laughs> actually, she's actually designing weapons to kill people right now for Lockheed Martin. So, you know, that's awful of her. <laughs> she's a C word. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> seriously, if you see people dead on the news, it's her fault. Very well. I told her that, she disagreed. <laughs> she said, that's not what I do, and I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I was like, well, and she was like, listen, I don't want to talk to you about this. And I was like, yeah, well, listen, okay, here's a good thing, if you're arguing, <laughs> if you're arguing with a girl, or a guy, whoever you feel like arguing with, and you and like and you know they kind of care about you, and like but they're winning the argument because you don't have any good points. Here's what you do: you go, yeah, well, I'm gonna kill myself, and then they go, what? <laughs> <laughs> then they hang up the phone, and uh, then they call your friend, and he calls you, and goes, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like, what the fuck, you? And he's like, what? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm like, put her back on the phone. He's like, this is not a fucking operator thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm like, you don't know where you are. And he's like, that, what? And I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, shut up. <laughs> and he's like, what? I was like, you want to see an impression? Of Dwight from the office jerking off, <laughs> and he was like, "Yes, but I'm on the phone, so that's not possible." <laughs> and I was like, "Shut up and listen. This is how he does it." <laughs> oh, my dick's in Jello. What the fuck, Jim? <laughs> <laughs>